today we are going to work on configuring iSCSI disk for VMware like we'll be configuring iSCSI target server on Windows 2016 box I have already assigned three disks three additional disks uh, two of 100 GB size and one of 50 GB I have just assigned this disk and to enable iSCSI target server we need to go to server manager add remote programs server roles we need to enable iSCSI target server I already installed and configured it so a thing to do here simply we need to click next next and finish once it is done we will be able to see iSCSI virtual disk here all disks volumes everything will be visible here so I have added three disks here two of 100 GB and one is one of 50 GB so I'll, I will be making the disk online and I will configure the volume now so disk is online I will assign the drive letter E and give some volume name like is um, zero one then create so we are able to see the e drive here this can be done using disk management console just we need to make it online and wait for another disk simple volume f drive make it vsan 02 Just refresh. This app drive is also available now. So once this is done, we'll be going to iSCSI. There we'll be creating iSCSI virtual disk. We'll take E drive. We'll minimize it, maximize it, then sorry. Click next, give the virtual disk name, we'll give this an zero one only. We can assign ninety nine GB of space. We need to create a new ASCII I target. We'll give the same name, this an zero one. Here we need to give the IP address of ESX box which which will be accessing the accessing this iSCSI storage iSCSI disk. So I will be giving the IP address of to ESX box. So we won't be configuring each uh, like enabling chat authentication. 
it's a simple process will be following here also click the create button everything gets created just verify everything is correct click create All disks are available. You can see here. See, once this is completed, we need to go to vCenter and we need to add. We need to add iSCSI controller there and discover the IP of this iSCSI target server. Once that is done, we'll be able to see the disk there. Let's go to vCenter now. Okay, we are on vCenter now. So once we connect to vCenter, we need to go to storage adapters. And when we see, we didn't find the iSCSI adapter here, so we need to add it. Add a new software iSCSI adapter. Click OK. Can see the status here. We are able to see the adapter here. Once adapter installed, go to targets. There make targets. Add. We'll be giving the iSCSI target server IP here. So our iSCSI target server IP is 10.0.0.32. Click OK. So we need to rescan again to apply the changes. Once we rescan, we will be able to see the target name here. So Looks everything works fine. Go to storage, scan again, then add. You're able to see the storage none here. We need to go to data store and we need to add the data store here. Select BMFS. Give the data store name as vsan01. Anything, whatever you want. Click next. We'll be using VMFS 6 to format. <laughs> Finish. So we'll be seeing the data store here. Let's go see data store. We'll be doing the same for Yes, XS01. I already added the ISPC adapter there, so it's visible here. We need to do the same for Yes, XS01.
can browse the data store you can see the summary so as this is a test lab we'll be using iSQC using windows box but it is not recommended for production environment it will be damn slow based on the network and uh, the windows box performance so we can increase the disk like from here though we have only 100 gb so we cannot extend the drive So, can't do it here. Just I'm sure I was showing it. <coughs> That's all for this video. In next video, we will be configuring H and DRS, and we will be discussing more about H and DRS. Thanks for watching.